Just some quick context. Originally, I was gonna put this video as part of the third Whistler video, but after reviewing the footage, it's just so good. I thought this uh, run was deserving of its own video. Uh, so some quick context. I'm riding with Win Masters. He's also a GT sponsored athlete. We are on our way to go film for the GT uh, Spoke Tail series, and we're making our way down to meet up with the uh, filmmakers. So. Without further ado, let's uh, jump into the video. Have fun out there. Ruin is a downhill racer and oh, EWS racer or kind of does everything. Trying to know best for Wheelie Wednesday. It's kind of a series he puts on on uh, Instagram that has gotten him pretty well known. I believe he's won at least one EWS back in Rotorua 2000. 18? It's been a while. He's actually riding with a broken rib right now, so. I'm a little bit of pain. <laughs> Going this way. He's also on the bullet bike. 29 in front, 27 five in the back. Don't think for a minute he's going fast. This is just a leisure pace for him. Also right now I'm from Win TV. That's kind of his World Cup interview show. Which is really cool because it kind of helps give you a uh, depth of personality to a lot of the World Cup racers that you wouldn't get otherwise. <laughs> we might be able to Thanks man So he just said he's never been here so Probably Gwyn, riding a trail. Never ridden, he's driving blind. The other day I had a really sketchy off over here. Ooh. 
Oh, it's my back tire is getting a little low. break my forearms are uh Cooked. yeah <laughs> <That's it. laughs> that guy just went put all pull over no no <laughs> and there but then he started trying to race <laughs> was that what was happening <laughs> yeah because we, he was like hell cruising <sighs> then we went to that next bit and he started like peddling <laughs> and we're still <laughs> so you've never ridden that no that's cool yeah I've done it a few times, just I don't ever remember it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have done it once like this week, so All right. it's kind of fun to watch you do it blind. Yeah. No, I never rode that. Sweet. All right, we're good. Okay, that's uh, that was a sick out. I would not have done that out myself because I didn't see it. If he was trying, he'd be able to pull away from me very easily. So I haven't done this. Whew, that turn's blown out. This is a really exciting front row show. Maybe we can just bomb straight down. Uh, I, yeah. Maybe you want to ride some of this? I'd like to ride some of this, as long as we don't miss it. Yeah, I don't know where you turn off though. Do you get any arm pump through that? Or are you like, no. no. And no, normally probably ride a l like hesitate a little bit at the moment. Yeah, yeah, because I, I know you're not going full speed. Yeah. I think it's a good thing for my viewers to see how crazy fast EWS and downhill racers are. Yeah. Who's going to fight me? Definitely. But no, I, I don't get yeah. 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 pump normally yeah. at all. Yeah. 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 At all. Or well, like maybe if you do oh, from the top of the world down. Yeah. Your hands are sore. But I don't have like solid arm here. Do you do any training specifically for that or? Just ride a lot. Yeah. And ride a lot at speed. And then uh, the fitter you are, the easier it is. Though. Like if you do a lot of fitness as well, like cardio, then you're, I think you're less likely to get it. I had a month off the bike and I done probably four rides or five rides this week. Okay. That's it, so. <laughs> you did one gap back there. Whoa.
Was that blind? Yeah, I know where it's there. Yep. But I haven't, I haven't ridden that tray this year. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. I didn't know what's on the other side. It's not a like a gap that I'd seen before. No? No, I've been on that trail a few times. So you did this one where you gapped to oh, past the, yeah. It was yeah. sick. I followed you off it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, you must know something I don't. Yeah, I've done I don't normally do that in the race. So I know I know it's there. Okay. I haven't You haven't just ridden the trail. Not this year. Gotcha. Yeah. Not for two years. You gonna gap that? <laughs> I'm gonna put the thing up now. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Now you have to go extra big. It's high jump now. Extra big or extra scrub? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Either way. Yeah. Well, I don't know how many people are, are crazy enough to jump that anyway. Like, I don't think they need that. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we should just let them. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's natural selection. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you want to do that. <laughs> Rather watch the show. When I follow people down the steep fire roads like this, or fast fire roads, I like to be staggered, so I'm not getting blasted in the face. <laughs> I was impressed that you're able to control it over some of that stuff. Yeah, but it's rough. <laughs> I think we just roll down and see where they are. Yeah. Yeah. Are they in there? Nice nice. Right? <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was my dam. That was good, eh? Fun. Good warm up for me. <laughs> yeah, especially jumping into this. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one that everyone cases like. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, you have to get really high up here. Right. I mean, you probably would have been fine, but. Yeah, yeah. And then pump that. You can find some good ones for, for lane of manual. Yeah, we were just trying to look at them now and work yeah. out which ones would be the best. But... That one would be sick. Yeah. If you could hold it. What's up? Right, Ryan, like, so, a bit. There's like three rollers. Oh, yeah. oh, and right. then there's like a seven foot, like, step down drop. You can at least hold it. Maybe to like the last roller. Yeah. <laughs> Trail builders are gonna be stoked with you. Yeah, they love it, yeah. This track would have been sick when it's brand new. I rode it when it was brand new. All right. Yeah, that was the last like first time I was here during Crankworks. They just opened it. Really? Yeah, honestly. Uh. Was too soft. Or? No, it was about the same. Just a few less braking bumps. For some reason, that trail seems to hold moisture pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Like you guys good? The last roller is not really a roller. Yeah, I get you. <laughs> Are you trying to hold it into the drop or? No, to, to the, over the last roller, but it wasn't bad. Oh, good, mate. Yep. Too much like slightly uphill in turning at the same time yeah. turn is easy as downhill you just ride your brake 
There's a good one on, uh, I'm sure you can do the one on, uh, what is it? Dirt Merchant to step up. Yeah. You guys might have to follow you inside so off the lookout. Oh, we're just going down there. We are, okay. Just for video. Okay. But, um, this. Pretty much good to go. Yeah, if you start here, you can jump that step down easy. All right. And the next step up is easy, and then after that, I don't really know. That's the last hard feature. Everything after that is pretty. Pretty nice. Goes with the flow of the sweet. So. Phew. Sweet. That was my best one, so. <laughs> Alright. Woohoo! <laughs> oh man. I've I forgot how tight that was. I thought I was gonna water into the woods. <laughs> Yeah, I was definitely sliding into it. That's a tight corner. <laughs> you get so much speed here. You just want to keep going. Yeah. Every time. You guys good? Yeah, we're good. Sweet. Let's do it. I mean, woo! <laughs> oh. so, you want to hit that turn real fast, but you'll die. Yeah, well, I did the last time. Yeah. The last time was really good, and this time I was putting the e brake on earlier. Deep. dangerous but that's why all these marks because they can't ride the whoops and then they go over the boom so one of these marks is me oh yeah yeah i got excited like, on whoops and i did a sprocket slide on this yeah i feel like this is a really bad spot to be standing yeah we're in the good area <laughs> over there is a bit more dangerous and what's the line here well the smoothest line is to miss these whoops <laughs> but uh a lot of people hit the whoops and then nearly go off the track <laughs> but uh, it's definitely the danger zone. Yeah, boy. Fucking. Yeah, and imagine if you went off there. You die. <laughs> you go in that hole. Nice and friendly. At 40k an hour. I'll have to translate that for my audience. That's uh, 25 miles. <laughs> At a guess. <laughs> sounds less impressive when you put it in there. Yeah, 40 sounds way more fast. That's why we use kilometers. And more impressive. Yeah. yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah. yeah. That's Nate Eyed. He's a local trail builder in Vermont. All right. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, Nate. <laughs> What's happening? Man, you can't get enough speed for that table just dropping in. No. Yeah. You have to start like one above it. Oh. 
Do you convince uh, some place to let you build something like this? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Bigger machine, bigger mountain. Go! What's up, guys? I'm not sure if you guys have picked up on it, but those are the same guys I ran into earlier in the video. Uh, I don't know if I'm stalking them or they're stalking me. Hmm. No. Not too bad. Are you recording? I am right now. Sweet. Can you go on your video? We'll see. Maybe. Depends what you're going to say. Real. Or what you're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Yo! <my> <laughs> Sideways. Oh. Woo! Oh. You good? Yeah. All right, man. So, what do you find hard and scary about this feature? I'm recording, by the way. Um, <laughs> it's just big, dude. <laughs> it throws you straight up, and then you land going the opposite way. Do videos do justice as how tall this is? It looks pretty big, no matter how you look at it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Man. It's pretty scary, but I don't know. I guess it's gotta send it. <laughs> All right, hiking up to go do uh, the hip. Since you have a full-on film crew, I want to go as big as possible. It's not very often you get filmed on red cameras. Break this. It's so big off of it. I know. All right. Got it. All right, you good? Drop it in. Okay, I felt pretty good that time. Time I break a little bit before the lip. Um, so I didn't quite no break it. I think this time I might try to no break it, but whew, it's, that's nerve wracking. Hiking up is the hardest part. Yeah. All right, guys, have fun out there. Yeah, good one. All right, dropping in. I don't know how big that looks, but it feels insane. Yeah, you were up there probably 10, 8, 10. The hard part for me is to land right at the top of the landing. Are you good with that clip or you want to do Yeah, I'm cool with that. So, I mean, if you want to do it all, that's fine with us, but... So, hey. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good to go. All right. I think I'm good. good. All right, have fun, man. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh.
That's good. <laughs> That's real good. Yeah. What's going on over here? Sweet skids going on right now. <laughs> Sometimes when a heavier rider like when is following a lighter rider, I like to run one front. Wind carries more speed, so it's easy for him to. Good bonus one. Sick. Yeah, bro. He <laughs> goes too high. <laughs> well, he goes too high and I catch up. Yeah, well, you're like, I feel like he's also like lighter and loses his speed. Huh? He's lighter, so he's losing speed. Yeah, and I'm gaining. <laughs> Just keep getting closer. <laughs> you go too high, brother. Okay, that's enough. How almost you? Nice to like drag break. Because I'm way heavier too, I think. Oh my... Exciting. The end of that video was rather exciting. Um, so a few things to note. Um, the kid who fell was actually a ripper. He finished fourth in the Canadian Open Junior category. So um, the kid uh, knows how to ride a bike. Um, the kid, one of the kids who is leading the train, uh, Lucas Cruz, he actually won uh, the junior category. And you might remember him from the Whistler Gap video. But yeah, that was a really fun time getting to know Wynn. I had talked to Wynn once before uh, in 2015 when I did a UCI World Cup in Wyndham. Um, after I qualified, I was doing a track walk the second day, and I bumped into him on my way down. So this video was uh, my chance of kind of getting to know him a little bit now that we're on the same team and whatnot. I'm still going to be making a part three, I guess it's part four now, of the Whistler series, so uh, stay tuned for that. Um, that will be an edited video uh, with music and whatnot. This was just kind of a raw, candid video. Um, if you like this video, please share it, uh, like, comment, uh, whatever you want to do. Um, just uh, give me some feedback. I, I like hearing from you guys. It's, uh, you know, it's kind of my way to have a little bit of a discourse with you. Anyways, my name is Phil Metz. Thanks for playing bikes with me today, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!